like I always do. Listen, first, first and foremost, I, I thought we deserved a result. Um, a lot of improvement, you know, from last week, when you look at the goals we gave up and how we defended and how we started games, um, we defended much better today. Uh, they didn't have many chances at all. Um, even the goal I thought was a bit, a bit unlucky. It's kind of a bang, bang deflection. And then, you know, very opportunistic on their part. But we started the match really well. I thought our mentality was really good. We kept the ball well. Um, lot, lots of improvement, you know, and that's why I'm disappointed that we didn't, at the very least, get a get a point out of the game. I thought the guys deserved that. Um, bit unlucky at the end to hit the post. I want to look at the play on Jonah as well. Seems like those are things that, again, we're not getting. You know, one week we, we get a call against us. This week we don't get the call and the benefit of the doubt the other way. And, you know, those are things that obviously I'm not saying, um, you know, add up to, to the results and us not getting them, but they are factors. And but I thought the guys fought extremely hard. We did have some good chances. I thought Darlington had a very good chance first half. Derek um, Giassi had an excellent chance where he's in on goal uh, second half. And then obviously the post, a couple others, Matan, you know, it was a game that was always going to be tight. It's on the road. We're trying to tighten some things up, which we did. And, you know, I'm just, you know, a, a bit gutted for the team because I thought they deserved a result today based on how, how hard they fought and some of the improvements that we made. Um, you still need to be, be a bit better in the attack. I thought there were times where we're, we're in on transition and, you know, we lose the ball, miss final passes other moments where we don't make the right decision and just, you know, turn it back and keep the ball. Um, I thought the buildup was much improved. And again, our shape, I thought was really good today. You know, they didn't, they had a tough time breaking us down. We were compact, you know, and in comparison to last week, um, we did much better. We got better performances as well in the back six. Um, just weren't able to find that, that, that goal or that moment. And obviously they did. So that's the difference. The margins are very, very slim in these road games. And, you know, we got to turn around and go again two days later. And I think that's the key. You got to keep going and build off the good defensive things that we improved on the start of the game and, you know, work on that final third. You know, we need to improve, improve in that aspect. Yeah, again, I thought we improved a lot in, in a lot of things. You know, we wanted to start the game better. We did. We were much more organized. We were much more calm. Our mentality was good. Um, you know, we changed our structure a little bit. I thought that helped. They had a real, real hard time, you know, creating chances. And again, when we had the ball, I thought we were able to control large portions of the game especially on the road, that's always a good thing. Allowed us to take some pressure off our defending. Um, allowed us to control the game more. You know, they didn't have any chances. We didn't either. Um, looked, looked like it was going to be a draw, you know, and, and with a bit of luck, you know, maybe we find a goal to win it. Um, never thought we'd, we'd lose the game, um, you know, so that's why we're disappointed. But uh, it's definitely a game we can build off of from a defensive standpoint mentality standpoint, a build-up standpoint. Um, but we got to get that final third going. Thank you, Caleb. Well, next, we'll go to Jacob Myers, followed by Pat Murphy. Caleb, when you're talking to the officials after the game, what explanation was given on the play where Jonah, you know, ends up face down on the ground? That it was a 50-50, which doesn't matter. Because if it's a 50-50 and a guy wins it and gets cleaned out, that's a foul. So I, I have no idea um, how that's not looked at, reviewed. Um, it, it impacted his, his ability to head the ball. If he's getting crushed as he's heading the ball, um, it's a foul. And the fact that they blew the whistle, they didn't even take the time to wait and review it. Um, you know, those are things I, I don't want to talk about, but 
when you look at week to week, you know, we got to start to get some of these things to go our way. You know, even the, even the shot that hit the post. Uh, so our guys are fighting. That's obvious. Our guys are fighting. Our guys are executing in a lot of ways today. They executed in a lot of ways. They came on the road and, you know, like I said, it's not easy to correct some of the things that we had last week, the problems, and we did. We did. You know, defending was better. Um, the performances were better defensively. The shape was better. And we started getting the game better. So those are all things we can build on. Um, we're never going to have a ton of chances in this type of game. You know, with the way, you know, being on the road that you set it up. Um, we didn't want to be reckless. If you're reckless, yeah, you get a few more chances. You give up a few more. And that's kind of the way we played last week. And with the personnel that we have right now, it's, um, it's important that we are a little bit more pragmatic. And I thought we were, you know, and I, I just feel for the guys because I wanted them to get something out of the game. They worked, worked so hard for it. And they're battling even even till the very end. Um, but I am I am pleased with the improvement. And we got to turn around now two days later and throw ourselves, you know, back into this next game against Red Bull on the road. The one time Lucas seemed to have the ball in the middle of the field with some space, he creates that chance for, for Jossie. Um, I, I guess, was the idea to have him more wide and create out there, or did they kind of take away the middle? I think he had a lot of time on the ball, guys, a lot. I just, I just don't think, you know, the rhythm of it, you know, playing quick, Versus dribbling, some of the final passes we missed, um, but I he found plenty of the ball. Thank you, Caleb. For our final two questions, we'll go to Pat Murphy, followed by Ori Benatar. Caleb, when you talked about uh, the defensive play last week, you mentioned confidence. Um, is this? I know you give up a goal, and you know you don't get the point, but. Is this where confidence can start to grow and kind of get back to the way you guys were playing defensively? Yeah, I think even though we didn't get a point out of the game or three points, we didn't get a result, I thought we grew in confidence. You saw that in the performances individually. You saw it collectively. You saw it just in the chance creation that um, Chicago um, didn't have. You know, they didn't. They didn't break us down a ton. They didn't get a lot of clear looks. We never felt really up against it. Um, you know, we were compact. We were organized. We made good decisions on when to press and where to the point where you could see on the ball they got frustrated. They just started kicking it long or forcing it. And I got to look at the goal. Um, not sure how they got down our, our right side. No, Saad got overloaded a little bit there. It seemed like Kevin got too narrow. Um, you know, and then obviously it's a cross. We block the shot and then it's a bang, bang. And, you know, it's very similar to the chance we almost score where we hit the post. So, so those are little, little bounces, inches, and calls that we're not getting. But you, you give up last week as many goals as we gave up to turn around and come here and play like we played defensively. Yes, we can build on that. And, and now we just need to find the balance, obviously in the attack. And, but we're, we're building from a position of strength now of stability, of confidence. Um, and we got a fresh group that's going to turn around and go to this next game. And I know they're going to be eager to, to get a result here. Thank you, Gail. For our final question, we'll go to Ori Benatar. Caleb, I know you mentioned, you know, the confidence in the defense and you're happy with the defensive performance. Uh, you mentioned more in the attacking third. What are some of maybe the specific things you're looking for more? I know you mentioned a couple of chances you like that were created. Is it maybe the, the finishing touch in there or is there anything other, anything else specifically you're looking for more in the attack? Yeah, I think we still need to continue to get chemistry. Um, I think still our decision making at times when to counterattack and when to you know, slow it down and keep the ball. I think even our speed of play at times on the ball, you know, it, look, it looks like at times we have guys that are trying to dribble a little too much, you know, versus combine, um, you know, so some of those decisions, which I think has to do with chemistry, 
Um, but, but this was always going to be a game that was going to be tight, you know, and with the pitch, um, you know, it meant they were direct, we were direct. So, you know, there wasn't a ton of rhythm. I thought we found more rhythm than they did, especially first half. Um, but neither, neither team really got in the final third a ton. Um, but I thought we got in there as much as they did. We had some very clear looks. You know, I think Jassy's is a really good chance. Uh, Darlington's, very good chance. Matan's, Post, you know, and a couple set pieces as well. Um, and I, you know, I can't remember, obviously, the Aloy one that he tipped over. That's a good chance for him. Maybe they had another, another one. I can't remember too many, you know, really. And I felt really like our team was in control today. And I didn't feel that way last week. You know, that last week, I never felt like we were in control. And this week, I did both sides of the ball. Um, and that was the goal as well. And I thought the guys executed the plan pretty well. I just think we were missing that bit of quality, that final ball. But also, I, I felt like we gave the ball away too much, too, and didn't play quick enough at times or combine enough. And I think that's, for me, chemistry. Thank you, Caleb. This is going to conclude the segment with head coach Caleb Porter.